Hello, this is Tony Dixon for WDEE TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our top story today comes from the Ypsilanti Courier and writer Nicole Seguin. A 13-year-old boy is in critical condition after being shocked by an electric fence at a football game at Lincoln High School Tuesday evening. Michigan State Police Trooper Daniel Cleese was sent to assist Huron Valley Ambulance with the boy who was unresponsive at approximately 8.14 p.m. September 30th. A press release from the Michigan State Police said the incident occurred while a middle school football game was being played on the Lincoln High School football field. The boy was playing catch with a football and several others. When the ball was thrown over a nearby fence, the boy went to retrieve it and was shocked by the fence, which was electrified. An adult attempting to check the boy's pulse was also shocked and was treated by EMS and refused a transport to the hospital. No football players or spectators of the game were injured. School officials were notified and responded to the scene. A school maintenance worker arrived and all electrical power was turned off to the football stadium area. Detectives from the Michigan State Police, Brighton Post, Fire Marshal from the Augusta Township Fire Department and investigators from the Michigan Occupational Safety and Health Administration will be conducting a detailed invest investigation. More on the story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website WDEETV.com. Coming up next, a Dexter man has been arraigned on four charges following an overnight standoff with police. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221-0296. Ask about layaways and in-store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Welcome back. This is Tony Dixon for WDEE TV Headline News. Coming to you from the WDEE TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our next story today comes from the Dexter leader and writer Nicole Seguin. A 31-year-old man who had a standoff with police in Dexter Township last Friday was arraigned on four charges Saturday morning. M Live is reporting that Jason Adam Brush Haber was charged with two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon and two counts of resisting arrest for his roughly five-hour standoff. A bond of 10% of 50000 was set by Magistrate Margaret Curry, according to the report. Brush Haber is no longer in jail, records state. Brush Haber apparently got into a fight with his girlfriend at their residence at Washtenaw County SWAT and crisis negotiation team was called after the man remained in the house with a gun and refused to leave. More on the story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, WDEETV.com. Coming up next, one man was arrested and one man is still at large following a shootout near an Ypsilanti kindergarten school. Welcome back. This is Tony Dixon for WDEE TV Headline News, coming to you from the WDEE TV studios in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our next story today comes from the Ypsilanti Courier and writer, yes, Nicole Seguin. 
One person has been arrested and another is at large following a shootout in Ypsilanti, according to a report in the Ann Arbor News. Ypsilanti Police Lieutenant Tom Eberts told the Ypsilanti News that the shootout took place at 2.15 p.m. Tuesday in Park Ridge Park. Shots were exchanged between two men in the area. The park is separated from Perry Early Education Center. The school was placed on lockdown immediately following the reports of shots fired by police. Students were in the building at the time. We don't believe there is any danger to the school, Ebers told the Ann Arbor News. In an interview Tuesday night, Ypsilanti Community School Superintendent Laura Lesiski said staff and children were safe at all times. Quote, we have lockdown procedures and they have gone through Alice training and everyone followed it to a T, she said. Lasiski said the lockdown lasted less than 15 minutes. The suspect in custody is a 19-year-old man. The other suspect's identity wasn't immediately known. More on the story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, wdeetv.com. Coming up next, Ypsilanti launches a pop-up business program. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221. 0296. Ask about layaways and in store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Welcome back. This is Tony Dixon for WDEE TV Headline News, coming to you from the beautiful downtown Ypsilanti Studios. Our next story today comes from the Ypsilanti Courier and writer Crystal Elliott. Entrepreneurs looking to test out their business in a risk free Way will have an opportunity to do so with Ypsilanti's new pop up business program. A collaborative effort among the City of Ypsilanti, the Ypsilanti Downtown Development Authority, and the Michigan Small Business Development Center, the pop up business program offers benefits to property owners and business owners alike. Property owners with vacant storefronts can lease out their space for a short amount of time to a business. Ypsilanti is full of entrepreneurs and artists looking for space for exhibits, retail, and spaces to engage the public, Tim Kobeck, executive director of the YDDA, said in a press release. We are working with the city and the Small Business Development Center to put together a program to help match those ideas and projects with real spaces and resources to make pop-up businesses happen. So far, three vacant buildings in downtown Ypsilanti are available to those looking to try the pop-up program. 206 West Michigan Avenue, 10 North Washington Street, and 511 West Cross Street. Filling vacant spaces with active uses is a goal. Trying out a new business idea or market is a great way to do it, even if it's just for a few months, city planner Teresa Gelati said in a press release. Sometimes that's all you need to find out the biz to find out if the business or the space works. Ideally, the pop-ups can transform into long-term leases and long-term businesses in the community. More on this story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, WDEETV.com. Coming up next, former UAM coach Rich Rod discusses the school's current struggles.
Welcome back. This is Tony Dixon for WDE TV Headline News. Once again, coming to you from the WDE TV studios in downtown Ypsilanti, Michigan. Our final story today comes from the Detroit Free Press and writer Mark Snyder. Former Michigan coach Rich Rodriguez is soaring at his new job in Arizona. His Wildcats are 4-0 and about to face an elite test Thursday, a program-defining game at Oregon. He was on ESPN Radio's SVP and Rosilio show today, and after talking about his team's prospects, the discussion turned to Michigan. With Michigan struggling on the field at 2-3 and, and drawing national attention after quarterback Shane Morris initially undiagnosed concussion on Saturday, Rodriguez admitted it's, it's tough to avoid, especially given his personal ties. It's hard not to say you haven't seen it. I don't have my head in the sand, said Rodriguez, who coached at U of M from 2008 until 2010 when he was fired. It's on the news every five minutes, and I've still got a lot of friends and people that are up there or follow them. Having an open date, I had a chance to watch some of the game because some of my players are still, not many, but a couple, still there, so I followed it. I'm probably better off not commenting on some of the opinions I have, but at the same time, people try to draw parallels between when I was there and what's going on now. It's really different. It's completely different in a lot of ways. As a coach, you do the best you can. I'm sure their staff, I know some of their assistant coaches, I'm sure they're just going to work and doing the best they can to try to win the next one. You can't sit and wallow around because the players will see if you're not really ready for the next one. More on this story can be found on the local news feeds link on our website, WDEETV.com. For WDEE TV headline news, this has been Tony Dixon. Wish you a great day. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free. Morgan Taylor is located at 133 West Michigan Avenue in Ypsilanti. Clothing and accessories for men, women, and children at Morgan Taylor. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 734-221-0296. Ask about layaways and in-store financing. At Morgan Taylor, buy two suits, get a third suit free.